Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W into a bad USB or rubber ducky. And this is an update video for 2024. So again, this is an updated video for 2024. And I went ahead and got a brand new Raspberry Pi Pico to make this video with. So it will be all from scratch. Um, brand new Raspberry Pi Pico and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's get right into it. So let's jump over to the GitHub page um, that I supplied in the in the description. And let's scroll down to the steps. So right here, step one, we're going to get a repo to get a local copy of the files. So we're just going to get all the files. And we'll download it to a folder called Ducky. All right. Let's go to that folder, Ducky. All right, there's that folder we just downloaded. Pico Ducky main. All right. Next. Let's go to step two. So download CircuitPython for the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W, whatever one you're using, download that one. Come here, download. We're we'll download this in our ducky folder too. Alright. That's what it looks should look like. Add a fruit circuit Python Raspberry Pi Pico. Alright, let's go back to that GitHub page and go to step three. So we're gonna plug our device into our USB port while holding the boot button. So it'll show up as a removable media device named RPI RP2. So what that means is there's a little red button right there or not red white and I'll put a better visual on the screen but you're gonna press and hold that button when you plug it in um, and then we're gonna move on to step four and also side note we're gonna need a micro USB to USB adapter it doesn't have to be one like this a short one it can be a long cord um, just make sure it can um, do um, data transfer all right, at this point, we should have plugged in our Raspberry Pi Pico while holding down that white boot button. And our device should now be available like this in our um, file explorer. All right, let's minimize this and move on to step four. So we're gonna copy the downloaded .u2 file to the root of the RPR2. So the device will reboot it after a second or two and it will reconnect as a circuit putty. So to do that, we're going to open up two file explorers. We're going to get one and we're going to get our other one. So we can see that this is the .u2 file and it wants us to throw that in to the root folder of our RP. I RP2. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag and drop it over there. It's going to take a few seconds to complete. And then, like it said, it'll reboot and the device will be available as a circuit putty. So we can see. If we move my camera, oop, didn't move it fast enough. It just reconnected as a circuit putty, as we can see right here in our file explorer. All right, now since we have that done, we can move on to step five. So download the Adafruit CircuitPython bundle here. Let's do that. We're gonna do this 
nine MPY. We're gonna download it in our Ducky folder just so we know where it is. All right, and here's that add a circuit Python bundle that we just downloaded. All right, from here, let's go back to step six. Navigate to the lib folder, the recent extracted folder, and copy add a fruit to the lib folder of your Raspberry Pi Pico. So to do that, we're gonna have two file explorers open again. And we're gonna have one here, and we're gonna extract all, extract. And this may take a little bit, so I might fast forward this part. All right, cool. All right, now we have that extracted. We can open that up and we can go to the lib folder and we can find that Adafruit underscore HID right here. Adafruit underscore HID. Adafruit underscore HID to the lib folder of a Raspberry Pi Pico. So we're going to take this. We're going to take our circuit putty or our Raspberry Pi Pico. Go to the lib folder. And we're going to copy and paste this Adafruit underscore HID all right let's move on to the next step so seven copy add a fruit underscore debouncer dot MPY and add a fruit underscore tickets dot MPY to lib folder of a Raspberry Pi Pico so we're gonna do the same exact thing go to both lib folders and it's add a fruit underscore debouncer The balancer right here, so we can copy that, open our lib folder, paste it in there. And then it also wants add a fruit underscore ticks. So add a screw underscore ticks. Let's copy that as well and paste it into the lib folder of our circuit putty or raspberry pi pico all right let's move on to the next step we're going to copy a synchio to the lib folder so a synchio we want that in the lib folder we're going to copy Step nine, the Adafruit underscore WSGI to the lib folder as well. So dot G W G S G I So we want that in the lib folder. Let's go to the next step. Copy boot.py from the clone of your root to the root of your Pico. So what that means is we want to go to the clone that we downloaded in step number one and extract all of that. Alright, once that's extracted, there should be a folder called boot, and we're going to 
drag and drop that into the root folder. So that's the home folder of our circuit putty or Raspberry Pi Pico. All right, let's move on to the next step. And that's copy ducky and python.py code.py web app.py and wsgi server.py to the root of our pico so we're going to open up both of these again and it says it wants ducky and py over there and it wants to code.py and it wants web app.py and ws GI server dot py all right now we can move on to the next step for the pico w only this applies to so if you have a pico w you're gonna create a file called secrets in the root of the pico w so that's just in this main folder right here um, and this will contain the AP name and password to be created and it's going to look like this all right so moving on to step 13 which is basically the last step um, we can click here or we can create here to make our own lucky scripts or we can click here to see um, some already created ones um, and then we're going to save our created ducky scripts um, as payload.dd in the pico um, in the root folder. So we're going to save it right here as payload.dd. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then your device will be ready to go. Um, and it says right here, be careful. If your device isn't in setup mode, which it's not right now, the device will reboot. And after half a second, the script will run. So after you throw this script inside of your Pico, it'll reboot after half a second and then it will run the script. So be careful with that. But um, at this point, you should have a finished Raspberry Pi Pico rubber ducky. So let's test it out and see if it works. All right, so let's head on to that final step of making that payload.dd file. So let's head on to Notepad++ or just Notepad if you don't have it. And I'm gonna copy and paste a already created payload that I have. And this payload is just going to um, open up the run dialog and then it's going to delay for half a second, open up notepad, and then it's going to type, I am working. So it's just a simple test to see if this bad USB rubber ducky that we just made out of this Raspberry Pi Pico will indeed insert some keystrokes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save as, and we're going to scroll down to our circuit putty. We're going to serve it just in this main folder right here as it is. And we're going to save it as payload.dd. Okay. Um, I already have one in here. So it's going to say, are you sure you want to replace it? I'm going to say, yeah. If you don't have one in, in here already, it's not going to ask you this. So you're just going to save it. And boom. So we can open up our circuit putty. And we can see we have a payload.dd folder inside of there now and it should look like this this should be all of our folders inside of this library and this should be all of the folders inside of our lib library alright so we have this saved inside of here right here let's execute it and see what happens and if you guys were interested how I wrote that rubber ducky script, um, check out my other videos where I have tutorials and how to write ducky script and how to use it for other purposes outside of hacking and how you can use ducky scripts in your everyday IT life um, to give you a little bit of advantage. A link to that will be in the description. All right, like the GitHub page said, these things are armed already once you upload the, the payload. So 
upload it real quick, rip that thing out, and then the next thing you plug it into, um, it will um, upload that payload too. So I'm going to upload it right now and see if that um, payload executes. So let's give it a shot. All right, so it is indeed working. Um, so there's a bunch of different things you guys can do with this and a bunch of different payloads that are already online and that are already actually on this GitHub page. Um, so if we click here, there'll be a bunch of different payloads that you guys can see and that there are already. And then as well on the Hack5 community, there's a bunch of different um, stuff that they do with rubber duckies and payloads. So there's a bunch you can find on the internet already with already pre-existing payloads. So you don't need any prior programming knowledge to use this. Um, once you get this working, you can find payloads and and use it to your liking. All right, so you have officially now turned your Raspberry Pi Pico into a bad USB or rubber ducky. So that's it for this video. Just two things. Um, don't use these things on computers that you don't own or don't have permission to execute these payloads on because um, you can get in a lot of trouble for doing things like that. Um, and secondly, if you want to learn more about rubber duckies and writing ducky script, Check out my other videos where I have tutorials on how to write DuckyScript and what they're used for and the use cases of them outside of just hacking and how you can use them to be productive in your IT professional career. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.